Leo, take two. All your cards fell in the first one. So <laughs> let's see what messages we have. Um, I did see that I did not do Leo's mid-month. And I got two more to do, but I forgot Leo's. So three more now. What messages do we have for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for mid-July 2019. Messages for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. My kids just staring over me. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mid-July 2019. Go check on your brother. New love. So some of you guys have new love coming in. New energy of love. You could be dealing with some financial issues at the moment. All right. So let's see what messages we have. So Leo. And Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages what God do we have for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for mid-July 2018. What messages what God do we have for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mid July 2018. This is an update, guys. You guys want a full love reading at the beginning of the month? I do a full love reading. This is an update. <laughs> this is for Leo, Sun, and Rising Venus. What messages? What guidance do we have for Leo, Sun, and Rising Venus? Sorry. Seven of Pentacles. I do feel as though you're waiting. You're in this state of. I won't say hurry up and wait, but you're in the state of waiting for something to come into fruition. I feel like whatever has oppressed you, that is going to come undone mid-July. Uh, <laughs> world card. I definitely see somebody pulling some strings, really going into a whole new type of energy, type of world. I have Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. So I do feel like there'll be some clarity around, um, or new clarity around a relationship, a new relationship, a new person, most definitely. So nine of wands, there are some things that have to be overcame. I feel like you're going to be overcoming some things. Why is this nine of wands here? 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 All right. Queen of wands, queen of swords, making a decision. So you're overcoming someone. You're overcoming a woman, it looks like. Or you are taking on this energy, overcoming your own emotions, being nurturing. You might need to be more nurturing to self. So you could be in this state of suspension. Could be constantly fighting with somebody. Suspension with the Ten of Wands. It feels as though you've been, you're in this state of having to be persistent with your desires or having to be persistent with moving away from something that is oppressing you. Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords. This is about making a decision to move in a different direction. Knight of Pentacles here really um, putting some things in motion so that you can be more compassionate to self. Some of you guys are really, these are three queens here. So you're, you could be overcoming three women. For some of you guys, you could be overcoming three women. Um, fire sign, um, you know, I'll read what I see. Fire sign, air sign, and uh, earth sign. Or this is just about you being persistent and overcoming some responsibilities to get to either get to this woman or get away from this woman. I don't know. Um, but you're overcoming some, some type of responsibilities, putting some things in motion. Overcoming your own, you're changing your perspective. So this is this could be a woman that's changing her perspective, really wanting to be, really deciding to be more compassionate to self, making a decision to move away from a situation that may have taken a lot of energy from her. If not, this is a male energy moving forward. So we got the Ace of Cups here. Why is this Ace of Cups here? I feel like there's a woman that is pulling the strings on something here. Why is this Ace of Cups here? Magician here, Queen of Cups. There you go. So there's a new opportunity here to manifest unconditional love. I really feel like someone's overcoming some things in the past. There's the other queen. So this is a woman. This is for a woman. Um, if this is not for a woman, this is for a man. And there are some things that he has to overcome to get to this woman. And he may have to overcome another woman or multiple women. But magician here, queen of cups here, someone's manifesting unconditional love, the energy of unconditional love. Seven of, of cups here, there could have been a lot of confusion. Nine of cups here, someone's now, they're choosing to allow their concerns to fade away from a situation that was confusing. Some of you guys could be manipulated um, here. There could be a new opportunity. Someone could have manipulated you into the new opportunity here. Um, I really feel like you're overcoming and allowing your concerns to fade away. Especially if someone's manipulating you. So Queen of Pentacles in the surrounding energy. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Could be an earth sign. Could be taking a leap of faith. Temperance here. Five of Pentacles here. Someone could be taking a leap of faith. 
divine timing. Now, someone could be leaving someone at a lack by being more nurturing to self. Someone could leave someone at a lack or a source here trying to be in alignment with a new opportunity. Someone's going toward a new opportunity. They're making a compassionate decision for self to go toward this new opportunity. All right. All right. Got the ace of swords in the subconscious here. I believe this is someone pulling the strings. Now, for some of you guys, you, you could be having financial issues um, with someone and you're overcoming that. Some financial issues that kept you oppressed, making a compassionate decision to be nurturing to self, really overcoming that situation so that you can go towards something new. Why is this ace of swords here? Why is this ace of swords here? Why is this ace of swords here? We got the devil here with the justice card here. So someone is doing what is right um, for ones. Hmm. Powerful. Ace of Swords, seeing clear. Wait a minute now. We got a lot of mate. We got a lot of oh shit. Someone, someone, someone sees the truth of the situation. They see that they have to either get a divorce, they have to sever a connection, they have to get out of this low vibration to balance out a situation. Now, some of you guys, this could be Capricorn, Libra, uh, Taurus here. There could be some truths or some clarity coming from either of these, um, and this could create a tower moment. There could be truth going toward either of these. This could be creating a tower moment. Why is the tower here? Why is the pressure here? Someone's like ditto. So I don't know what that's about. But someone literally is like ditto. So six of cups here, four of cups, this ten cups. Someone here is ending a, a, a relationship that's caused conflict here to go towards someone new. And that's the truth. The new opportunity may be a Capricorn, a Libra, or a Taurus. Because the Taurus is even in the surrounding energy or the Hierophant is in the surrounding energy. Maybe with a touch of Sagittarius here. But yeah, someone is more than definitely removing themselves from conflicts of the past. Um, conflicts that made them unhappy. Really understanding that they want something new. And for a lot of people, Nine of Swords, this causes them to have anxiety. Because wanting something new does mean going toward that new person that may give them anxiety. Um, wow. So some seeds have been set. I'm going to say that. Some seeds have already been set moving toward the situation. I believe someone is now deciding to nurture them. What guidance do we have moving forward for Leo? Sun, Rising, Venus. What guidance do we have moving forward for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What guidance and messages do we have moving forward for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Detachment, humility, discernment. Some of you guys are, are you're discerning, you're detaching from conflicts. And really choosing peace. So you're choosing peace in your life. Um, some of you guys, this is a new person that has propelled you to choose this peace. That's all I got. Until next time, peace. Peace.